This is the solution to written homework 54. Okay, so then what we want, what we want is p evaluated at 6 minus p evaluated at negative 3 divided by 6 minus negative 3. Okay, so to that end, uh, plug in the various things. So p evaluated at negative 3, well, that would be 3 multiplied by negative 3 squared minus 8 multiplied by negative 3 plus 9. So plugging that in, 3 multiplied by negative 3 squared minus 8 multiplied by multiplied by negative 3 plus 9 that would be 60 <coughs> now we want to plug in 6 p evaluated at 6 69, so that'd be 3 multiplied by 6 squared minus 8 multiplied by 6 plus 9, that's 69. <coughs> so the answer that we're looking for, p evaluated at 6 minus p evaluated at negative 3 over 6 minus negative 3 is 69 minus 60 over 9, which is equal to 1. Find the equation of the secant line. OK. So we know that the slope of the secant line is the average rate of change, which is convenient because that's what we did in the previous part. So therefore, the slope that we're looking for is 1. And then the points that are on the secant line, we also know those, because we know that the points negative uh, 3, comma 60, and 6, comma 69 are on plot, and therefore the equation, we can use either one of those points, y minus y1 is m, x minus x1 is the point slope equation for a line, so y minus uh, 69 is equal to 1 multiplied by x minus 6. So y minus 69 is x minus 6. So y is x plus 63.